Welcome back to more Y2, everybody. So last time we ended up coming over here to this cave and we're about to take on this massive Pokemon, uh, Kyurem. But he is infused with the power of Rushuram as well, which is rather interesting to be honest. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that beauty. A level 55 Kyurem. So, from my understanding, I can't capture this guy? Maybe? I mean, I don't know. I could definitely try. I have dirty dust balls, by the way. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So he is... Okay, well, a return is not going to kill him, for sure. I actually don't know if... I did beyond that halfway point, actually. Which it's kind of troublesome, you know? Wait, okay, l let me try throwing a dust ball at this guy to see what actually works. Okay. Does that include the master ball? Yes. Okay. Well, this means I need to kill this guy. So let me kill him. Use another return for the kill, and that is going to be it. The question is, what can I actually capture this guy? Like, when? Because I do not know. Anyway, Kaurum is dead. Separated. What? And it's like, oh no. Alright, time for another battle. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit ridiculous. This is so many battles. Like, so many Team Plasma battles. That it's pretty insane. Alright, so he's got six Pokemon. Um, the biggest issue right now is the fact that I have pretty much no PP on Flamethrower. This guy's a ghost type. Um, so the only thing I can possibly do to you is use a... Well, I, actually, I could use a Flare Blitz. Let me use a Flare Blitz. Oh my god. You, okay, whatever. Whatever. Actually, wait. No, that's stupid. Oh my god. I, I'm thankful you did. Wait. Also, my PP just healed. Never mind. I'm gonna use Flamethrower because I don't want to touch you. I'm actually thankful you did protect because I did not think about that at all. Like, at all. Okay, that's not good. Leftovers? Okay, so if you're smart, you, you're gonna use Protect this turn. Which means, if you're gonna use Protect, I need to use a Petra Berry. He's gotta use Protect, he has to. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Flamethrower again, let's see if I can get a lucky damage range this time around. Maybe I could. Ooh, no, pretty much the same thing. Okay, the same thing's happening once again. Um, okay, so leftovers is gonna happen again. All right, so once again, it'd be smart if you actually use protect, which I'm assuming you're doing. Yeah, that makes the most sense. See, all right, so now he's gonna have uh, leftovers. That's fine. Flamethrower again because I do not want to get mummied right now. You never know when Blaze could come in handy, right? Level 78 for Wilbur. Nice, nice. Who's next? Seismitoad. I always forget this. I think it's Water Ground, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, which means I need to use Return. This should do half, half damage, right? Yeah. Actually, that... Oh my god. That would do like at least half, like maybe three fourths, but that did a lot more than I thought. Drapion. Okay, for you, I'm gonna use a flamethrower. And that did kill. Okay, good. Next up is Electros. Flamethrower once again. another kill. Okay, that's four down. You got two left. Oh, shoot. Actually, I'm good. I got arm thrust. That's a dark dragon. He is weak to fighting type moves. Gotta use three hits to kill. Yep, got you. Nice, nice, nice. All right. And finally, Toxic Rogue. Poison fighting. 
can just use flamethrower on you. So I believe all of Guts is Pokemon were at level 50. This is easily the toughest battle of the game so far because most others have been like 45 to 47-ish, maybe 48, you know? This guy has 6 Pokemon at level 50. Much, much different. Well, Getsis has been defeated, yeah, by two different trainers in the span of two different years, right? Whoa! Wait, was it established in the other one that you were... Father? I don't know, I don't remember that actually. What? He lost control. He said farewell. Hmm. Okay. You can talk with Pokemon? Hmm. A certain trainer in Alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people and heard so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue toward new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Reshram taught me, the truth for Pokemon and me. And someday, both truth and ideals will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be flee free from the oppression of Pokeballs. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I guess I should have that right. That does seem to make a lot of sense. Okay, is that a key right there? What the hell is that? There's a key on the ground. This is Hugh. Yep. Hmm. Pokemon League, that's right. Yeah, I know. I know that. What is this? Really? Alright, I guess it's time to leave this place. Hopefully I can just, um... Fly out of here once I get out of this stupid place. Uh, no, because I believe I'm out. Okay, the question is, can I fly? Yes. Alright, so... Wait, but isn't it... I mean... Wait, I'm waiting the giant chasm, though. What the shit? It's actually kind of confusing. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. The ice disappeared. All the snow. So, does that mean that I can now, um, like, explore... more around here? I mean, maybe, yeah. Maybe I can, but... Also, Root is right there, but hold on. I saw an item up here somewhere. PP up. Alright, anything else before I get the hell out of here? Yes, actually. Okay, I need to go the other way, though. I need to go down through that side. What the? What? Whoa, was that a moving grass? Maybe I didn't look at that. It had to be, because I used a repel. That's an Audino. Okay, um... Dude, what? How am I supposed to get over there? Okay, this is actually really weird. Okay. Okay, the question is, how the hell do I get over there? Okay, I can, I can grab this one. TM-03 Psyshock. Perfect. But, how do I get the other one? Do I have to go, no, that's, that's not true, that's not right either. How do I get that stupid item over there? Dude, that's all blocked off, so that means I can only go to the very north. Actually, no, because, wait, can I actually just go here? Also, why? What the hell is it? 
Okay, I am so confused right now. Okay, there's no possible way to go through that side. So... I can't go through there. I can't go anywhere through here. So there has to be another way over there to the very north. What is this? Oh, okay, got it now, got it, okay. Here's the item. Sunstone. Okay. Um, and here's another item, actually. A Carbos. Alright, so with that, I believe we're actually done. I'm just gonna fly out of here, because I'm pretty sure that, like... It's gonna be more confusing if I just go through it there instead, so... I'm just gonna go through here, go straight through the giant chasm, and then find the other exit to the very west side. And that should be the proper way I'm leaving. The other thing that I want to do is actually go to the shop, because I need to buy more max repels and stuff, so... I think that that's gonna be something I should do right now. That's the wrong freaking person. Okay. Um... Full restores. I'm gonna buy like 29. Revives. I mean, sure. Uh, full heals. I don't really. Well, I guess I could buy another 10, sure. And then max repels. I need to buy like 34. I should put me enough for pretty much the whole game now. Another 50, you know? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So, how do I get to the giant chasm again? It's through the other area, right? Like over here, I think. Pretty sure. Okay. So now we just gotta basically make a rush to that area. Here we are. Dude, this is so f oh my god. I hate the bicycle in this game with the whole one pixel or one one movement thing. I already told you that many times. But I don't like it. I do not. Okay, so that is incorrect. And then go to the very west side. Oh, also, what was over here? I actually forgot. Oh yeah, the dead end area, which I found very confusing, but okay. Here it is. Okay, I'm out. Route 23, here's a building. Let's go ahead and enter this house. It might just be like a resting area, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean... I've never played this game before, and it, it's already, like, it's pretty easy to see, like, it becomes very predictable. The Pokemon series, like, what is the purpose of each building, wherever they're located at? And I was right. Alright. So here's a tree that needs to be cut. It's a hard scale. Apparently I could surf here, but there's no reason to, because that's a dead end down there regardless, so I'm not gonna surf. I could surf going up north, though. I need to keep that in mind. Actually, that leads to the same area, so never mind. There's no need to surf anywhere. Alright, so let's see what kind of Pokemon these people got. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, what, level 50s? 50, 51 maybe? Let's see. Throw. 53, yep, figured. Figured as much. Okay, so I believe these guys have... Do they have low special defense? I'm just gonna go for it and do a flamethrower. Did kill, okay. Alright, so that's one trainer down already. Okay, what's over here? Is there anything there? I couldn't actually tell if there was. I don't believe there is. Okay. Now, there is a different height, as you can see. I somehow need to get up to the very top. Battle number two, another ace trainer. This guy's got two, that's an Emolga, okay. That's what, electric flying? 
rather unique typing that for a long time only Zapdos actually had. I don't know if you can static me, but I'm not gonna risk it, so I'm just gonna flamethrower you. Okay. This guy has really, apparently really good special defense, but bad defense, right? So I'm gonna use Flare Blitz, and I should kill you in one shot. Or, very close, fine. Cursed Body. Flare Blitz with just, oh my god, I'm so lucky. That would have been Hydro Pump times two stabbed. With the 120 base power, holy shit. It wouldn't have killed me, but it would have put me maybe even to the red. Okay. Okay, so that's all done, that's all done. It's very linear still. Very linear pathway. Hi ho! Alright, this guy is a uh, hiker, which means it's time to get those arm thrusts ready. Well, for this one I can actually use either or, but you know what, I think I would rather use Arm Thrust. Simply because, if I spam my Flamethrower every time I see a freaking Pokemon, I'm gonna run out soon. So I'd rather use this and combine it, you know? Like, do a combination of both moves. I need to hit him three times, though. So. I did, okay. Good. Next up is Probo Pass. Definitely Arm Thrust. That's also gonna defeat your Sturdy. And I should be able to two hit you, because it's times four per. Yeah. Alright, battle number three is down. Let's keep going. Okay, two ways to go here. I could either go up the stairs or I could explore over here. Let me explore over here first. So there is a building here. That's a Haxorus. TM35 Flamethrower. Okay. So. I'm going to teach that to Volcarona. Even though I like never use Volcarona. The reason why is because. In the off chance in which I have to use you. It's much better you have Flamethrower over Fire Spin. There we go. Okay. And there's Haxorus. I'm glad I came over here for my TM35 flamethrower. Alright, um... Let me go ahead and surf. Let me, uh, surf along this little area here for a little bit, because I feel like there might be... Where is there anything? I actually don't think so. I'm pretty sure there's not. Okay, time to go up the steps. What's over here? Oh, actually, never mind. I already came from there. Why did I just ask that? Right, here's another trainer. So now there's two ways to go, left or right. I don't know which one leads forward, but I'll be exploring both, as you know. Ace Trainer Julia sent out Swana. This is a typing that can sometimes be a low-key bitch to my type matchup, because it resists both fighting and fire. But I got Return, and Return should be able to one-shot you. I don't think Swana has good defenses. Galvantula. Bug Electric. So I gotta use Flamethrower on you. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay, really? Aha, I knew there was something. Rare candy. Alright, so that side's done. There's only one way to go. But, not for long. There's two ways once again. That is... Ooh, okay. Amoongus? Yes, it is. Level 56 this time. The levels are definitely increasing quite a lot. Okay, so... Here's a Karate Man. So now there's three ways to go. There's Northwest, Southwest, and Southeast. Here's a Sock. Uh, 
Flamethrower time. This should roast you in one shot. Oh, you got sturdy. Damn it. Close combat. Holy shit. That was fairly powerful. Wow. Arm thrust. Okay, well, wait. Does Endure it? Endure all the hits? Or just one? It does Endure all of them. I actually didn't know that. Okay. It's different than Sturdy, then. Technically, it's better than Sturdy for that reason. I mean, the thing is, Sturdy is more like a Focus Sash, rather than... You know, a freaking Endure or something, you know? Okay, that's an Iron. Here's a tree that can be cut. Star piece, okay. I'll take that as well. What the heck? I mean, I don't know what else could be over here, but that seems to be it. Hmm. All done there. What about over here? Okay, a ranger. I will battle you. And there's an item over there. Pokemon Ranger Steve. Stunfisk. What the hell kind of typing is this? I actually don't know. Oh my god. I'm just going to return you and hopefully that one shots you. It did not. Muddy water, but I'm getting really lucky right now. Thank god. Arm thrust. Let's do this. Amoongus. Time for a flamethrower once again. How much time am I at? 22 minutes. Okay. Still got a good amount of time. That's fine. Nice, nice. All taken care of. And I got a citrus berry. Huh. TM05 Roar. Nice. Alright, so this area is completely done. Time to go this way. The only other way to go. Another repel, of course. Okay, there's two ways once again. Let me go ahead and battle this ranger first. There's actually three ways. Oh my god. Up the steps, up the grass, or to the left. Floatzel. He might do some damage to me by aqua jetting me. He very well could. He did not choose to do that, okay. Here's a return, one shot kill. And that puts Wilbur at level 80 finally, thank god. 250 attack. Holy shit, Lucario. Okay, um... I'd rather conserve a flamethrower, so I'm gonna use arm thrust. This should be able to kill you in two hits. Yeah, Lucario's not very defensive. Alright, that's taken care of as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get another free berry, a citrus berry, and I'm going to explore... I'm going to explore left first. Okay, what's over here? Here's a tree that needs to be cut. Here's an item. That's a full heal. Here's a boulder that needs to be pushed. But there's also one that needs to be pushed from the other side, apparently. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I, at least I did that for now. Uh, another tree that needs to be cut right here. But there's kind of like a maze here, somewhat. Future champion? What? Are you psychic? Boldor. Okay, so these things are known for having sturdies, right? So I need a... I mean, regardless, I was gonna arm thrust anyway, but... Here we go. Arm thrust. Okay, luckily it did. Wow, barely. 
Barely. Agron. Will this actually be a two-hit kill? I mean, it's quadruple damage, but this thing has massive defenses. Okay, barely, I think. Oh, no, actually, no. It was not going to be a two-hit kill. Holy shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure Flamethrower could have killed him, but he might have had sturdy, you know? Actually, no, I know for a fact Flamethrower would have killed him. Agron has pretty bad special defense. Okay, here's another tree that must be cut. That's... oh my god. This is actually kind of a mess right now. It's a disaster. There's so many pathways to go to. Another Amoongus. I do not want to waste my time fighting these things. I'm just going to run. Okay, let me go down here. So, okay, luckily I did that. Okay, that's been pushed. That is a dead end with the trainer. And it's an ace trainer this time. Okay. Mickey. Scolipede. Okay. Black Poison. That thing will be easily roasted by a flamethrower of mine. Also, did you know that Scolipede is actually fairly fast? I think its base speed is like 100, which... Just by looking at it, it does not look like a fast Pokemon. It does not. It looks slow as hell, man. Arcanine. Okay, this guy's gonna take two hits. The only way that he might not is if I actually use Arm Thrust and get a five hit, but I'm not gonna risk it. Gotta use another return. Stop extreme speeding me. Oh my god. Now I have very little health, although now I'm in Blaze. Yeah, I am in Blaze. Hmm. That's pretty nifty, actually. Okay, let's uh, keep exploring here. Here's a Karate Dude now. Girder. Should be easy enough, but the one flamethrower, especially with Blaze now, I mean, seriously. In case you don't know, Blaze improves your fire type. Moves by 50% if your HP is lower than 33%. What the hell did you just do? Oh, focus. Okay, focus punch. Which means that now nothing can survive a flamethrower. Like, I'm actually glad that I'm in bit I'm Blaze. The only thing that could potentially kill me is if I actually, um, like, get, like, Aqua Jet or something by something that I don't even know that had it, you know? Alright, so it seems that this whole maze-like area is clear of trainers now, but now I need to actually find a way to progress here. Which I believe is this, this way. Ultra Ball, nice, okay. Another trainer, never mind. That was not. Huh, that was not finished. Ace Trainer Tom sent out Magmar. Okay, now I cannot use Flamethrower on you because. Well, actually, technically I could, and that would do a lot of damage, but. No. I'm gonna use Return, and hopefully I can kill you. It did. Okay, by this point, Flare Blitz would actually do more damage because it's 120 stabbed. That's 180. Half damage because it's a fire type. That would be 90. 90 base power versus returns 102, assuming it's max. However, I'm also in Blaze, so that 90 gets stabbed once again, so it's actually 145 versus 102, which means that, yes, Flare Blitz actually does more damage to a Pokemon that resists fire type and moves by half. So, little fun fact, you know? Okay, um, that's a repeat ball, I will take that. Uh, let's see, how do I keep progressing though? There's a karate dude. 
Okay, so there are two ways once again. Oh, okay, that's not to an item. Good. HP up. Alright, so this pathway is done. And I'm gonna come over here. Another tree that needs to be cut, but once again, there are two additional ways to go to. Okay, before I jump that ledge, hold on. Aha, I knew it. The calcium. Okay, so both of those ledges lead to the same area, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump. Okay, that's a surfing spot. Hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, so in here, I need to push... Yeah, that makes sense, okay. That one, and I can actually push that one over there as well. Holy fuck! Okay, um... I need to surf. I have to. But I'm actually gonna end, end the episode here because I'm pretty much out of time. So, uh, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.